Hi guys, welcome to Linux Automations. For today's video, we are going to talk about installing Jenkins on Linux server and the Linux distribution we are picking for this demo is CentOS operating system. And it is the same process which is available for uh, all the Red Hat family. And um, okay, so Jenkins is a famous uh, continuous integration tool which provides flexibility for both developer as well as operations person to integrate code into a shared repository several times a day so for which each and every commit made by the developer in the source code so it is used majorly or it has been started as you know so for the development phase of or for a development related tool uh, you know so the development related operations tool and for this tool uh, today as we are talking about installation so it has some uh, prerequisites okay so while coming to the prerequisites of uh, installing this uh, jenkins uh, I would recommend uh, to go with um, a minimal uh, security so that uh, you'll not face any issue as a beginner. Okay, so here I'm picking CentOS 7 operating system with AC Linux disabled as well as firewall disabled. So you can just go through some documents over the internet like how to disable AC Linux and firewall in CentOS 7. And I'll also try to keep the information in uh, description of this particular video how to disable that. And, and also it's a Java based application so which you require to install Java on this operating system which we are, where you are installing Jenkins. So let's go ahead and see like how do we install um, Jenkins on this particular operating system. So for that actually I have picked already a CentOS 7 operating system so which you can have a look at under uh, so it is like CentOS release so you can see it is a CentOS 7.4 which is the latest version we are picking up and along with that uh, so to start with i'll just start with uh, this one and i'll show you the prerequisites what i have done so you should like sc status command should show is it, it has disabled option so better so ip tables hyphen capital l should show uh, you know, only three policies which is showing as accept should not show more than that so that is another thing and along with that, so as I told you, so you require Java also. And which version of Java? So there are uh, different Java versions which are available and which particular version we require for these Jenkins. So just try to, uh, uh, let's try to understand that by just going with prerequisites of uh, Jenkins inside the Jenkins website. And uh, here is a URL, so which is, uh, our, uh, one second. So the website is Jenkins.io. You can just go into that website. And there you have a documentation. Let's go into documentation and we'll just go for uh, like getting started with Jenkins. And after that, okay, install Jenkins. So there it might show the prerequisites. So here uh, is it was showing like pre-install steps. We just, we're just going for uh, system requirements. And here's the current version of Jenkins, uh, which we are using. It requires Java 8. Okay, so we are clear that we need to install Java 8 version. And along with that, it, requ it requires 256 MB of RAM as free memory. And <clears throat> for installation, it requires a minimum 1 GB of RAM. Okay, so let's go and uh, try to do that. And I have a minimum amount of uh, RAM, which is already available. So free hyphen M. So which I'm having almost like 3 GB free. And along with that, I just go for df and h which shows like, you know, my available space is more than 1 GB disk space and whereas I don't have Java installed. So I can just go ahead and quickly install Java. So I install Java so that it, it is just trying to install 1.8 version only, or which is nothing but Java 8. So I don't need to worry about, uh, you know, which particular um, version to install because it is picking the uh, latest version. So it is 1.8 and once you have everything ready, so you can just go ahead and uh, and start installing Gen uh, Jenkins inside your operating system. Okay, so for this, uh, I'll go for uh, back to Jenkins website and there I have a download option directly. You can just click on download. And here on the left side, so you have a, a long term release as well as weekly release. So uh, it is always a best practice to go for long term, long term, uh, you know, uh, support related version because 
that is the most stable version than the weekly release so weekly releases are uh, majorly uh, which are currently happening in the development it's it's like a alpha and beta releases so whereas uh, this is a standard stabilized, stabilized version so i would uh, i would pick up this version rather than this unless and until i know what i'm doing okay so usually for production environment so we'll pick up a standard version so which is stable and here are uh, your jenkins is available on different distributions so i would like to uh, go for red hat fedora send os and even it is same for amazon linux as well as uh, oracle linux even so the same process so here they have given you a couple of commands so i would just need to copy these commands and run not more than that so just run those two commands and after that you simply queue m install jenkins it will download jenkins and install and jenkins is installed so jenkins uh, rpm has been installed uh, your jenkins as a service so hence you can just go and give so you can just start jenkins by using systemctl start jenkins so as i'm using centos 7 operating system so i am much interested in i'm not i'm i mean to say like you know so i have to use a system ctl command not service command because i'm using 7 version of red hat all right so i have my jenkins up and running so i can also verify by using like psi funny f and grab java and i can correlate this particular process opening a port number on the server by using netstat hyphen lntp and search for this particular process and you can see that you know um, you can it is listening on 8080 port you can always change this port uh, based on your requirement by editing the uh, configuration file so it is under etc so it would be under etc uh, sysconfig and then um, jenkins file so there uh, you'll be having a port number which is mentioned as uh, 80 80. So you can see here the default port number is 8080. You can always change this and restart the Jenkins to get it affected. All right. So uh, I can hit this particular server on the browser uh, on port number 8080 so that I'll have uh, the Jenkins remaining installation on a web console. So Jenkins is primarily starts a web console related uh, um, you know, UI and which you can always access it. So to unlock your Jenkins, that means to start installation of uh, something inside the Jenkins, it is asking to provide a validation password, so which is available in this particular location. And I can cat that file, so it gives me a very long password. I'll take this and copy here, so that it can just go and start installation. And here it provides an option of um, installing the plugins which are uh, recommended as well as you can always select the uh, plugins which you want as a beginner uh, i would recommend to go and start with install suggested plugins just click on that and let it continue so i have my all my plugins installed so and it just giving me an option to create an administrator account on my jenkins server i can just go give admin i'm just giving everything as admin so it's a test instance uh, so and hence i'm just giving the details or if you are using for a real case situation so you can just go on ahead and provide the uh, real um, you know emails and usernames and passwords so you can just click on start using jenkins and here is your uh, brand new jenkins dashboard and here on the down you can see that the version which you have installed and other things so this is how uh, you can install Jenkins uh, in CentOS and Red Hat operating system. So going forward, so I would like to, uh, you know, so provide more videos on like, you know, so configuration about Jenkins too. So for this video, I just want to cut it short as only for installation of master node. Okay. So thank you. Thank you everyone for watching my video. Please like and subscribe.